Well, here I am at the end of the uh, second game of um, Mackie that I have played. And um, <clears throat> it was jolly good fun. Um, I think the game took me about an hour in the end. Um, and on this one, I uh, accomplished uh, the missions with, um, oh, uh, no space to spare. Yeah, here we go. We're down to the last turn. Um, we've got one one more move and the morale would be at the end, uh, would have failed. Um, and uh, the, uh, let's see, the, the Mackie have um, three agents, so um, they lost two, uh, two agents. We got, to, they, there was once a, it was interesting because what happened was um, uh, the agents had picked up, or the Mackie had picked up a uh, the weapon, as it's called, the pistol, as it were, and um, <clears throat> in order to be able to fulfil some of the goals here, and um, but then ended up using it because one of the um, agents was trapped, uh, couldn't get back to the safe house, and so the weapon was used uh, to shoot one of the uh, milis. And um, that meant that a soldier got introduced, which also lowers the morale, which is very bad. Um, <clears throat> I did a couple of things. I realized I had done a couple of things uh, wrong. I made a mistake as I made in the first game, which was harder on myself than I need to have been, which is to say, at the black market, it needs to be borne in mind that that's a slash there. It's very easy to miss. There's a slash there, though. So you can pay at the black market either one bag of um, medicine or one bag of food to get, um, I don't know, we'll call it a hundred francs, okay? I don't say one money. It's horrible. Ooh, one food to get one money. No, a bag of food to get a bag of money or a bag of food to get 100 francs. You'll know. Anyway, <clears throat> Um, but, uh, yeah, so it came right down to the last turn. So that is what you would call good play balance. Very, very finely tuned. So, um, <clears throat> enjoying it. And I'm kicking around the idea now. I'm either going to, uh, at the moment, I'm either going to play another game, because it's all just set up right there, and I could just relax and play another game. Or I'm going to move on to another game, which means getting out a new box and reading a new set of rules. So, <clears throat> not quite sure what to do. Uh, and, uh, yes, but anyway... Very, very much recommend the game. Right. Well, here we are. I went ahead and I played um, another third <coughs> game, jumped straight into it, and uh, I'm ready to concede, I think, <laughs> to, after 35 minutes of play. Everything was going very well, very straightforward, as a matter of fact. Uh, these two missions here, the easier one is the German Shepherds, and the harder one is the destruction of the four anti-aircraft guns. Um Actually, there's a fifth one. That's the fifth one there, right? But um, <clears throat> anti-aircraft guns start uh, black market Rue Barada, the f eastern field and the uh, western field. Destroy the AA gun in the eastern field so I can have drops there now. I was getting ready to destroy that one over there, which I could still do. But um, the thing I hadn't paid enough, close enough attention to is the fact that Although um, the safest way to uh, put your agents out there is to lay down a sort of route, as it were. So you start from here, and if you want to send somebody up here, for example, or there, whatever, you do that space first, and then you do that space next, in that space next, that space next, and you just sort of lay this carpet, as it were, and it's almost like, well, as long as you, as long as nobody interferes with that, then you're all set. But that's not the case, because here... And the uh, final um, draw for the final uh, Melis uh, unit, uh, they drew, um, this has been placed here at the end, but the, initially they drew and um, they drew uh, Pont Levesque, occupied, couldn't land there, Black Market, occupied by themselves, couldn't land there, Doctor, occupied by me, couldn't land there. So now they start from the top again. And they go arresting people if they're there. So there we are, Pont Levesque. And of course, we look at Pont Levesque. And um, if they go there, so that's what they're going to do. 
he gets arrested, they occupy the space, and it means that all three of those agents there have no way home. And in this particular scenario, even though they have two weapons, they can't use them because the Milice have German shepherds, and it says, before this mission is completed, Milice units may not be eliminated. Oh, so you can't even shoot them. So that means that all four of those agents are lost. There's this agent down here who's not lost, who went to the uh, westernmost field. You can move down here without fear of the Milice coming down here at all. They never come down here. Um, and uh, so he could use a weapon to get rid of the anti-aircraft gun. Uh, then that would mean that radio drops could be done in one of two fields. But I think that's probably completely pointless. Uh, if I were to play on, then um, they would. Uh, he's only got one agent, so he'd, he'd certainly only need one field to do anything with for air drops. Um, so it would be a waste of one of those weapons to do that. But to play on, um, where instead of having five agents, you've got one. Um, it seems uh, like a questionable uh, proposition. Well, I thought, what the heck, I'd give it a go. So I got into the next turn. Um, oh, come to think of it, I did an advanced turn marker, which takes the morale down. And, uh, uh, yep. Yeah, tidy up a bit. There we go. Um, and it only took um, two patrols of Melis to show up. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, what what I did was I, I had that um, one agent down here, so I had him use one weapon uh, to destroy the anti-aircraft gun because I, I realized you've got to look closely at the mission cards. It says if three anti-aircraft guns are disabled, the mission is a success. Right. So although there are five, it's a success if you bag three of them. So that meant I did that one. One left, one weapon left two anti-aircraft guns down so if i could have done that anti-aircraft gun on this turn then that would have been that that mission would have been a success this one not so much hard to imagine that i would have been able to fulfill that one and but but uh so therefore get straight to it you can't lay out a carpet of agents so you have to go just straight directly to the place and hope for the best and his two routes home as we can see were via the grocer back to the safe house or via the poor district and the Pont l'Evêque back to the safe house and the first two milice patrols that showed up were the grocer and the poor district so therefore he's surrounded and he can't shoot his way out because of the German shepherds so all very atmospheric but um, no absolute abject failure on this one everyone killed except for one person and um, neither mission accomplished so uh, yes but definitely a lesson there before you get, uh, before hubris sets in and you start thinking, oh, this is a piece of cake. All you have to do is lay out a carpet and off you go. Well, the problem is, if you've got five agents, they've got five patrols as well. So the board fills up pretty quickly. And so it's not going to be that rare of an occurrence where a Melisse, um patrol wants to be placed on the board, can't because all the locations are occupied. And then after that, they have a spring in their step and off they go arresting people and they're never seen again which is uh, bad 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 okay so um yeah i managed to wrap up that one i uh, did a little bit of video of course but all in all probably mm, took about 40 minutes to play something like that um yeah there's a lot of depth here it's kind of like oh i don't know it's like when you play um well chess or something like that or even um one of my favourite examples is uh, playing um, Clue or Cluedo, uh, where you realise there's a sort of um, simple way to play it, a sort of infant's way to play it, where um, you just sort of mark off your things as you go around the board and everything. And then there's the expert way to play it, where you watch what the other players are doing when they're flashing their cards and showing their clues to one another, and you write down what they're doing which which means that you uh, can then know what they have or don't have by a process of elimination eventually, which will give you a huge, huge edge. Um, so, you know, it's discovering that hidden layer of depth to it. And there is a lot of depth to this. Um, uh, what do I want to say? 
Yes, yes. Uh, there's, there's uh, you know, you sort of play it and you realize, oh, wait a minute, if I do this, oh, that's right. Well, I don't have to do it that way. I can do it this way. So, um, yeah, you could, you know, you could definitely write uh, some articles about how to play this game well. And I'm sure a lot of people have, because uh, although it's not a game that I knew much about, um, you know, everybody's, well, not everybody, it sort of died in the wool. War gamers will have heard of, you know, Africa Core and... Uh, Oh, I don't know, even Undaunted Normandy and that sort of thing. But Mackie, not so much. But uh, there are still, of course, uh, thousands of happy players out there. And uh, I'll have to look around in the literature and um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I will. Or maybe I won't and I'll just carry on playing and discovering things. Because the thing I will say is with the spare rooms, I've played three games. And so far, I've only had a spare room occupied once. I've only got up the money to to put someone in a spare room and it was the fixer who enables you to sort of pay to use other people's services um but uh so you know like the you know the game would have quite a different flavor if you sort of said no first thing i'm going to do is to build another safe house i want another safe house that i can run to you know so there could be a safe house there or a safe house there for example um one of the, one of the two because you've only got one haven't you yeah um anyway Fascinating stuff. Okay, uh, here's to it. Very enjoyable. <laughs>